We've got one more thriller for you in Neptune. Coach Rodney Taylor and the Scarlet Flyers taking on arch rival Asbury Park in their annual Thanksgiving matchup. Neptune on a six game win streak against Asbury. Six nothing early. Here's Chase Fairbanks brought down by Karad Young. Good sack there by the Asbury D. But the Blue Bishops get it back to Neptune. Isaiah Mooney pick six 77 yards Mooney shows explosiveness 13 nothing Scarlet Flyers in front later in the first half Asbury Park in hunt formation it's mishandled by Neptune and the Blue Bishops recover with great field position and it's time for the Asbury offense to get on the board this is Namir Argelagos. Had a huge game against Shore Regional in the playoffs. 30 yard touchdown run. We got a 13 7 game. Asbury got the ball back, a chance to take the lead going into the halftime locker room, but Jaking Agostini picked off by DeJere Brown. Great INT there at the half. 13-7, Neptune has a six-point lead. But in the second half, get ready for a wild one. Ja'King Agassini throws it way up there. Look at that catch by Javon Higgs. Man, double team, no problem. 36-yard gain to the 36. And it would lead to this. Agassini will dump off pass there to Kashum Simmons. And look at the big fella rumble. Hurtling and finding the end zone, that was an awesome play. 26 yard touchdown, 14-13 Asbury, 42 seconds to go in the third. Fourth quarter now, the Blue Bishops take the lead. This is Paul Reed, the thousand yard rusher. Blazing speed, 54 yards for Paul Reed. We got a 20 to 13 game. Now under three minutes to go, Neptune's got a chance to get even. And it's Chase Fairbanks. He has to get flushed out of the pocket. Good throw here. And that's a great catch by Seth Harrington. Gain of 27. And then the big play of this drive will come right here. Fairbanks to Isaiah Mooney. Down to the one yard line. The clock is ticking. Two plays later, Malik Ingram from a yard out. 20 to 19, an extra point, overtime, uh-uh, rivalry game. Rodney Taylor's going for the win right now. Fairbanks, he got good blocking there. Two point conversion is good. 21-20 Neptune, a minute 15 to go. But Asbury's got time. And this is Agassini with another moon ball. Josmere Taylor, how did he come down with that? Wrestles it away from Isaiah Mooney. First down Asbury at the 13 yard line. And things get real dramatic from here. Agostini for the win. The pass is broken up. Six seconds to go. They're going to bring Simmons in for a game-winning field goal. And the ball goes through the uprights, but the whistle blows. Offsides on Neptune. Asbury does not get the win. That's a dead ball foul. Asbury tries to argue. It doesn't matter because now... Here comes attempt number two. Neptune wants a timeout, they don't get it. The kick is partially blocked, and that is how things end. That is some serious drama to finish that game, and Neptune gets their seventh straight win over rival Asbury Park on Thanksgiving Day, but it wasn't easy. That was a fun game to watch. 21 to 20 is your final. Neptune comes back to beat Asbury Park in the fourth quarter. Mooney at the 77 yard pick six. He also had that critical catch that set up the game winning score. As Chase Fairbanks scores the two point conversion, that's the difference. The season is over for Neptune. They ended on a major up note. Asbury Park still has one game left to play and they can finish their season in grand style. They'll face the Keyport Red Raiders a week from Saturday at Kane University with the Central Jersey Group 1 State Championship on the line. Neptune tops Asbury Park 21-20 is your final.